Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have a really exciting Harry Potter Primark haul and ever since, I don't know, they released this collection, I've seen so many people haul these things. If you're a Potterhead, you've probably seen tons of these hauls already. I have quite a lot of things, but I don't have like the whole collection or something. I definitely wanted to get even more products than this, but they didn't have them or like, I don't know. I'm gonna try and name the price with every single product. I'm not gonna promise you guys that I will do that, but let's try with the first one. So the first thing that I have here is a no muggles beyond this point door thing. I don't know what this is called, but you put it on your door and I just thought it was cute for my new dorm and I still have the price tag on here. So this one was three euros and I just thought that it looked cute. So that's really the only reason why I bought it. Then I bought this like Ravenclaw makeup bag maybe, or would you use this for pens? It's like really big. Like I could fit all of my makeup in here for sure. And this one was five euros. It also has a little Hogwarts crest on it as well. And I don't know, I think that this one looks really good. And I was so happy that they had this in Ravenclaw because as you guys can sort of tell, I am from Ravenclaw, but Gryffindor, as you all know, is the most popular house. And sometimes they don't have Ravenclaw themed things, but they did have this one and I'm really happy that they did. Okay, so now let's do the biggest section. And I don't know why this is the biggest one because I am not gonna wear some of these probably. But the first thing that I have here are knee-high socks, which says platform nine, nine and three quarters on it. And it has like little stars on it as well. And on the bottom of the feet, you have like the Harry Potter copyright thing on it. But I thought that these would look really, really good in bookstagram pictures. And I already took a picture. You can see it right here. And it has gotten the most likes on my bookstagram. So hey. And uh, by the way, if you want to follow me on all my social media pages, Goodreads, Bookstagram, personal Instagram, Snapchat, and an email address, all of those are in the description down below. Just a little self-promoting right there. They are really comfortable though and warm. So I might wear these in the upcoming fall and winter. And I'm not excited about fall in winter. I want it to stay summer, although it hasn't been summer here in the Netherlands. So those knee-high socks were like, I think three and a half euros. So I'm not too sure about that. Then I got these cozy socks, which say muggle and they are like a little bit more like thick and soft for like when it's actual winter and my feet are gonna die when it's so cold. Plus they have like little, you can't really see it, but they have like little, oh yeah, you can. They have little things on it on the bottom so that you won't slip, which is always nice. And I've also worn these and they are so comfortable and I will definitely use these. And I think that they were three euros as well. Then I bought a three pack of socks. I told you guys, I bought so many socks. Like I don't even know when I'm gonna wear all of them, but this was a three pack for, I think four euros, not too sure about that. And these ones are, Hogwarts socks with the Hogwarts crest and as you guys can see they're sort of like sneaker socks and I feel like these should be wearable um, and then I have keeper quidditch team socks which are adorable and then I am a keeper pair of socks and this one has like a little pom-pom on it which I actually don't really like <laughs> so I might take it off because on the other sock it doesn't have that but the print on them is like really adorable. And then the last uh, sort of like big packet of socks are house socks for all of the four houses. And I think these were four or five euros. I'm sorry, I didn't keep the receipt, but I bought these last week and I have thrown away all of the packaging. So first off my house, Ravenclaw socks, again, really comfortable. Then of course, Gryffindor, Slytherin. And then the last one, of course, Hufflepuff. So these are super cute. Next up I have a Hogwarts blanket and it's like wrapped up so I'm gonna unwrap it for you guys so you guys can see the actual blanket when I unfold it so I'm gonna stand and you guys can see it okay so here is the blanket and as you can see it has like the Hogwarts thing on it and this is really soft and I need a blanket in my dorm room so I got this one and it was eight euros and it's really soft and I can't wait to just read a book and sit on my couch and then put this over me and feel like super cozy so yay then I have two items which look very similar but I'm definitely not going to wear them at the same time because then I will definitely look like a hobo but the first thing is a Hogwarts sweatpants and as you guys can see it says Hogwarts right here and this material 
is so incredibly soft. Like if you have to get like a new sweatpants, just definitely pick this one up. It was 12 euros, I think. And it's just so extremely comfortable. Like everyone wants to touch my legs when I'm wearing these because it's just so, so soft. Then I have like from the same kind of line, I have a sweatshirt, which I think is really, really pretty. So here it is. It has the Hogwarts castle on it. And here you, ooh, okay. So, and here you have a little Hogwarts emblem stuff on it as well and this one is made from the same material so it's so soft and I'm definitely not gonna wear them at the same time because then I'm just like one gray person <laughs> and then my last item is I think one of my favorites and it is this mug I am like everyone obsessed with mugs I can't get enough and this one was six euros and by the way I think that my t-shirt like the sweatshirt was 10 but this one looks so cute because it's a little cauldron they also had like regular type of mugs like ooh, like this one which is also one of my faves from Sherlock uh, so they also had regular ones like these which were like three euros and fifty cents but I thought that this one looked a little bit more special it has the Hogwarts crest on it as well and at first I thought that there were little glitters in this ceramic mug, but there aren't. It's not microwave safe, it's not uh, dishwasher safe, so that's a little bit of a disadvantage. But, I mean, it looks really cool. So I can't complain about that. So those were all of the Harry Potter items that I bought at Primark. It was really cheap, but then when you get everything together, it's not. I also really, really wanted to have a little pillow from them, but I couldn't find it anymore. Still, right now, I have tons of things to put in my dorm and to feel like a really big Harry Potter fangirl, because I am. That was my haul, but before I'm gonna end this, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support on my latest video, which was a personal get ready with me. A ton of people have like sort of reassured me about going to uni right now. If you guys haven't seen it and you want to know me a bit more personally besides this Harry Potter haul and my usual booktube videos, you guys can watch my personal get ready with me. I will leave a link down below or I will show it somewhere here on the screen. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!